Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Awam Kenneth and if you're new here, please subscribe and hit the like button. So, how many of you have ever wondered how does one go about buying shares on the stock exchange? So, if you're in Nigeria, this video is more tailored to you, but if you live in a different country, you can take the semantics. That's basically the know-how from what I'm saying from here. I think it's almost or is always similar in retrospect so here's a series on investing in the nigerian stock exchange as a beginner please keep that in mind um this would focus on the qualities you should look out for when choosing a stockbroker as well as the requirements to open a stockbroker account so step number one is choose a stockbroker if you set out to buy shares that's the first thing you need to do you need to find out who your stockbroker is or who would you who would you rather pick as your stockbroker so right now there are plenty of stockbrokers in nigeria you can even buy shares right now on your mobile phone using the apps called bamboo and shaka and i think another one is again is called rice right then for Financial firms that you can also buy stock with. We have Investment One, we have APT Securities. These are the, like the only two I know of for now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm um, or Axaman side for this one. If you, if, you, if you want like mutual funds in Nigeria, you could buy or access mutual funds accounts with them. So Axaman side, Investment One, um, ARM, um. yeah. Okay, so step one, choosing a stockbroker. You need to open an account with a Nigerian stockbroker. The Nigerian Stock Exchange website has a list of stockbrokers in good standing. When choosing a stockbroker, two factors are key. Superior customer service and integrity. Has the stockbroker been suspended before or have they had like serious disciplinary issues or cases with the national stock exchange right as the nigerian stock exchange sorry or uh, the securities and exchange commission so we have sec which is called securities and exchange commission and we have the nigerian stock exchange now a rough rule of thumb here to use when choosing a stockbroker is to go for either the top 10 most active on the nigerian stock exchange by value or volume so the top 10 companies that trade more like how many trades do they do in a day or let's say they do one trade and it's one billion there so that's value the exchange usually publishes um data on a monthly basis this list has largely remained the same over the years so if you go right now you still see like the top 10 companies that have been there previously the minimum entry charges may be pricey but you are short a good customer service and high integrity for those um top 10 companies in addition an online presence is key do they have uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook accounts, um, your emails, other kind of things like how frequent are they on social media? Like how frequent are they putting their name out there? Yeah, because name is also key. Um, in addition, an online presence is key. Any stockbroker you use should have a good online trading pra um, platform. Trading platforms are easy to use and enable you to buy and sell shares yourself. So for example, APT Securities has a trading platform where you could place bids for shares you want to buy, either the market price or your own bid that you want um, to buy that share at. So um, I think Investment One Two has an online platform, um, Bamboo Shaka, this new modern in quotes companies are basically platforms and they have more mobile so bamboo shaka rise you can test them out i've tested bamboo and i haven't done a video about it on this channel before so check that out so the next step is account opening requirements the next step um, to follow after choosing a stockbroker is 
to open a stockbroking account right so you have chosen like your dream manager now you need to open an account with that person the requirements to open a stockbroking account are the same as opening a bank account passport photograph a federal id card um, identification and a copy of your utility bill so mostly electricity bill here in nigeria and the opening process usually takes a few days as your stockbroker will have to open a CSCS account and mind you if you want to bypass sometimes people bypass stockbrokers and just open the CSC account I don't know how to do that so I won't really explain much on it but it's also a possibility to do that but you pay like a big fee for doing that I think so compared to like opening an account then the CSCS, that's the Central Securities Clearing System, is a clearing house which has record of all transactions on the stock exchange and the shares you own. Like right now, if you open a stockbroking account and you buy shares in Dangote, um, Dangote, Owando, don't buy in Owando, please. Um, <laughs> that is not a recommendation access banks any bank by the time you ask for like let's say a monthly statement or something or just a record you will see your CSCS account number or number if you want to call it the uh, um, that means you have you can track it even if you change stock brokers you don't have to physically go to visit the stock brokers office to open an account nowadays Everything can be done digitally, which is the good thing about the 21st century. The entire process can be completed online. And a question you might have is, can I have accounts with more than one stockbroker? Yes, you can have more than one stockbroker. It's advice you not to have too many do, as you would have to fill separate forms for e-dividend registrations and monitoring all those things will also be like also be a major work <laughs> that means you need an assistant to do that for you so rule, rule of thumb just stick to like three four yeah if you're bigger than that yeah you can do more the larger the honey pot the sweeter the honey <laughs> does that make sense guys so this is just a simple how do you buy shares right and i feel like this explains it if you have any question please leave a comment below like share subscribe see you in my next one